guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video. Okay, so today's video is gonna be all about my bullet journal because I literally get so many comments and DMs every single day asking for me to show you guys my bullet journal. So I thought that I would. It's like the middle of January right now, but I just thought that for this video, I would start planning out for February. Can't hurt to be organized a little bit early. This is what my bullet journal looks like. It's from Amazon. All my pens that I'm using are from Amazon also. All the stickers are like from Pura Vida and stuff. I don't know. So I've been bullet journaling since August. I started it right when my junior year started. Let me tell you, it is life changing. As cliche and cheesy as it sounds, bullet journaling, Freshman and sophomore year, I just used like a regular planner. But I feel like bullet journaling is good because it kind of forces you to make a layout versus just like writing down your homework because planners already have something written out for you. I don't know if anything is making sense what I'm saying right now. I literally say that in every video, but I'm trying my best. So before we get any farther into the video, I just want to say thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring. If you don't know what Skillshare is, it's an online learning community meant for people who are really creative and curious and just want to continue learning outside of school. And millions of people come together on Skillshare to just keep learning and have a fun time. There's a ton of classes on Skillshare, no joke. There's literally, I'm pretty sure there's like 29,000 or something like that. There's a ton of classes. And each one, it's like a different length every time. It just depends on what kind of class you choose, but most of the videos are less than an hour long. So it's very flexible. You can watch them whenever. So this is one of the classes that I'm taking right now. It's called Drawing a Self-Discovery and it's by Mary Andrew. Some of my personal favorite classes are the ones that have to do with videoing, editing, and then there is some for creative writing and illustration, which is also really good for bullet journaling if you wanna be a little bit more on the creative side and add little drawings and stuff. Those are some of my current favorites. And I think it's a great goal for 2020 to just like wanna keep on learning. So Skillshare definitely empowers you to accomplish real growth through learning. Also Skillshare is super affordable. It's like less than $10 a month for an annual subscription. And with the link in my description, you can get a two month free trial on Skillshare. So you're welcome. I mean, I got you. But yeah, if you guys are interested in taking any classes, there's literally so many and different topics too. If you guys do want to check out Skillshare, the link is in my description. All right, with that being said, let me explain my bullet journal a little bit more. Most of my bullet journal is filled with just like my homework and stuff. Recently, I've been adding a little bit of extra stuff like mood trackers, which sounds kind of stupid. I love it. I'm literally obsessed with it. Basically, for this month, it doesn't look great. It looks really messy, so I'm not gonna show it to you, but I just listed a bunch of different like moods I can just at the end of the month look at how my overall month was and then I can kind of use that information to figure out how I'm gonna improve for the next month with the topic of improvement being talked about I also have a page originally this was gonna be for the entire year it's a page that I called the ups and downs of 2020 the left side it's everything negative that happens to me that I like get really irritated about and then on the right side was the positive things that happened I literally already filled up the pages and it's the middle of January so I think I'm just gonna do one every month instead of taking two pages for the entire year. That just makes sense. I think what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do little time lapses on another camera of the stuff. Do I need, you'll, you're just gonna see. You're just gonna see, I don't need to explain all of this. But yeah, I'm just gonna be planning for February, showing you guys kind of like the layout and stuff. Let's just get started. You are joking. Let's do this again. Made me feel so 
journaling does take a long time especially because I literally I'm so dumb I'm so stupid I use a bunch of pictures from Pinterest like as an inspiration on how to like make the pages I saw this one page that was really really cute like as a layout for February and I was like dude that is so cute I'm doing that so anyways I'll put a picture right here but that's what it looks like as you can clearly see there are four days like or like four boxes on the left side so my stupid self was like what's oh, four on both sides i put four boxes on both sides of the paper and i ended up with eight days a week which clearly it doesn't work like that so i had to redo my pages everything is it's fine now so i'm done so i started off the month with just like a layout of february i think it's so cute this is like the most organized one that i've done it just has each day like as a little box i'm gonna fill everything out later honestly i wanted to fill out everything now but some of the stuff that i'm doing in february is a little bit of a secret yeah this page is purpose is just to like see what's going on in the month you know i'll write down all the holidays people's birthdays my video posting days which is just every sunday in case you didn't know i'm changing my videos to every sunday because for the past few months i've just been posting on random days and it's really it's stressing me out a little bit so we're sticking to sundays yeah so that's that's the first page second page is video ideas and a mood tracker. Literally, I'm so excited for this. I don't know why it makes me so happy to color. I don't know. I just think it's really fun and it's a good way to see how your month goes, you know? I wrote down four boxes for the video ideas because I'm gonna be posting four times a month if it's for, you know, like once a week. Anyways, I'm gonna be writing all of my video ideas down in here. So for the mood tracker, I saw a picture. Mine does not look good. This is the picture. It looks really good and this just does not. Because it's Valentine's Day this month, I did everything pink and like heart themed, if you haven't already noticed. So this is like a, I don't know, a pinwheel or something. But I just did 29 little heart thingies sticking out of there. And then down here, I did all the color, like the the key, what is this called? A key with all of the little emojis. They're kind of creepy looking. As the days go on in February, I'll just like color each heart and it'll look very interesting at the end of the month. Next, I think this is my favorite page. I don't know why, it's so simple. There's like nothing on it, but so this is what it'll look like. So like I was saying before, I originally had pages for like the ups and downs of 2020. I'm gonna be doing it every month instead. So this one I titled the ups and downs of February. And so on one page I have negatives and then positives. And okay, it honestly might seem weird to like write down all the negative things that happen. I think it's a good idea. Like at the end of the day or at the end of the month, whatever, you can look back and see how much they really didn't matter. I think it's good to just look back and be like, okay, everything that I was upset about, it really doesn't matter anymore. Um, so yeah, that's why I am writing down the negatives just so I can see how much they don't matter at the end of the year. I'm gonna stop talking about that because I'm repeating myself and you've probably already clicked out of this video. The positives page is literally my favorite thing ever to look at. I'm not gonna show you January is just because, like I said, very personal things, etc. I just think it's cool to like look at your life on a piece of paper, pretty much. And then at the bottom of these pages, I wrote down two quotes that I wanna focus on for all of February. The first one says, be such a beautiful soul that people crave your vibes. I vibe with this quote, so I put it down. And then the, oh, by the way, I just found these quotes on Pinterest. Not that it matters, but. And then the second one is, don't tell people your plans, show them your results. Just thought it was a good one for this month, you know? I'm so excited for February, you guys have no idea. So for most of my bullet journal, I've been planning out my weeks, pretty much the same layout. This is January's, it just looks like that. And then this is what I'm doing for February. Yeah, I just have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, the weekend. This is just for, <coughs> this is just for homework and stuff. Because like I said, this is also just like a planner for me and not just video ideas and stuff. So that's all for homework. And I did two pages of that. And that's it. That is my February layout slash what I pretty much am doing every month for my bullet journal. If you guys want to see more videos on this, let me know. I don't I mean, I feel like every video would be kind of the same because I do the same thing like every month. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Comment down below if you want more videos on this. If you guys did like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and turn on post notifications so you never miss one of my uploads. If you are still watching, comment down below pink because my entire, my entire February layout is pink. So comment pink if you are still watching. Thank you again to Skillshare for sponsoring. Make sure to check out the link in the description. See you in my next video. Peace out, homies.